Greetings scholars. So this video is particularly recorded for those students who are not able to come to school today. That is on 18th February 2021. Okay. So in the class today two topics were discussed. Okay. From one is from chapter number 9. I told you that a flowchart might be asked for your final exam. That is the only topic that will be asked in your exam. So, this flowchart about which I have already discussed with you in Zoom class, I have actually discussed this flowchart with your classmates and I have made them learn this in the class. Okay, that is the first thing I made them do. And second is, I have uh, completed the revision of chapter number 8, Body Movements. These are the two things that we did today. So, let's begin with the flowchart. I will just right now explain uh, what is a flowchart and what are you supposed to draw in a flowchart and how you can learn it. Okay? So, let's get started. So, students, this is how the flowchart looks. Okay? This flowchart is from chapter number 9 and I wish that... You pause this video right now and you copy this flowchart in your notebook. Okay. I will explain to you what this flowchart is and how you are supposed to learn it. Okay. So this flowchart is basically about living organisms, all living organisms, their characteristics. Okay. And their habitat, different components of habitats and two types of habitats. All right. Alright, so I, I have talked about three things here. Living organisms, their characteristics, its habitat, components of habitats and two types of habitat. Okay, now let us look into it one by one. Okay, so as you already know, what are the different characteristics of a living organism? Five important characteristics are mentioned. You can see five red clouds here. These are the five different characteristics of any living organism. Okay. The first characteristic is they need food, air and water. Second is they respond to stimuli. Third is they have a definite lifespan. Fourth is they reproduce. Fifth and the last characteristic is they excrete. Let me explain this to you one by one. Okay. All living organisms respond to stimuli. What does that mean? That say somebody is coming to punch you on your face. So what will be your immediate response? That you will step back. Right. You will react immediately to the danger that you are facing. So that is how living organisms respond to a stimuli. Sudden change ko hum kaise respond karte hai? That is, that is called responding to a stimuli. Right? And all living organisms need food, air and water. That is the second characteristics. Third is, all living organisms have a definite span, lifespan. Means an average human beings can live up to 70 to 75 years. Compared to a plastic chair which can live forever. Right. Living organisms have a definite lifespan. They reproduce, that is the uh, fourth characteristics, and they excrete. What do you mean by the word excrete? To throw out waste materials from our body. All living organisms excrete. Okay. I hope the topmost part is clear. That is living organism. What are their characteristics? Five characteristics. Okay. So I hope this much you have already understood. Now, Nietzsche Kior, it's living organism's habitat. Okay, what is a habitat? A place where a living organism live. That is a habitat. There are two components of all habitats. One is biotic component and second is abiotic component. Now, what is the biotic component? A place where living organism lives na, us place mein, which are the living organisms found? Okay, for example, let us consider a forest, right? So, which are the biotic components of a forest? Forest will have animals, 
plants and all microorganisms. So these living organisms found in a particular habitat is called its biotic components. And what are its abiotic components? Say in the forest, whichever, whatever is non-living thing that is abiotic component. For example, air, water and sunlight. Okay. Habitat, two components of habitat is biotic component and abiotic component and its example. Last is two types of habitat is there. Terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitat. Okay. Terrestrial habitat, aquatic habitat. And I will tell you what terrestrial habitat is pele. Okay. Terrestrial habitat matlab Terrestrial matlab in land. Okay. Terrestrial matlab zameen and aquatic matlab pani. Right. What are the terrestrial habitat? Different types of habitat are five different types are there. Forest habitat, desert habitat, underground habitat, grassland habitat and mountain habitat. You can write one example of each. For example, forest may what you can find? Lion and tiger. Right. So you can write an example for forest habitat, lion and tiger. In desert, what you can find? A camel. Underground habitat. In underground, who's, who makes their home in the underground generally? Snakes and rat. Right. Burrowing animals. Mountain habitat. Those living organisms who lives in the mountains. For example, mountain goat, yak, polar bear, etc. Grassland habitat. That is giraffe, zebra, etc. Okay, so these are the five different types of terrestrial habitat. Alright. Next is aquatic habitat. Ponds, seashore, oceans, rivers, lake. Right. These are different types of aquatic habitat. And you can write example, one or two examples of each. Pond where you can write fish. Seashore may you can write turtle, ocean may you can write blue whale and shark, in rivers you can write fish and crab, lake similarly you can write duck, aquatic plants, algae etc. Okay, so this is very easy to learn. Your friends have already learned this by heart in the class itself. So I expect you also to do the same. Once you understand everything about the flowchart, I want you to... Uh, Practice by drawing it. Okay. And I wish to see this in your notebook as well. I will be sending you a PDF of this. Okay. So I hope the flowchart is clear to you. Okay. I urge you that you must practice drawing the flowchart. All the points should be mentioned about the flowchart. If at all it is asked in your class, in your exams. Okay. All your friends who have attended the school today have already learnt it. And I have asked every one of them. So you sitting at home must also do the same. You must learn the flowchart today itself. Okay. And along with the flowchart, we also discussed or revised the important topics which is there in chapter number 8, body movements. Okay. I will be sending you uh, important points while a PDF of body movements as well. Okay. So today you will be receiving flowchart and also a PDF of 8th uh, chapter. Just the important points. Let me tell you, just reading or learning these important points will not be enough. This is just revision sheet. Okay. So, I will just quickly mention which were the points that we have discussed today in the classroom. Okay. So, we discussed what is a skeleton, different parts of a skeleton system of a human body. Jaise ki skull hai, shoulder bones, rib cage, hip bone, arms, legs and the backbone. Okay. These are all different parts of a skeleton. What are its function? What will happen if there is, for example, no skull in our body or there is no backbone or there is no skeleton system in our body? What will happen? We discussed that. Okay. Along with that, we also discussed functions of the skeleton. And then we discussed about different types of joints. You already know the different types of joint. Which are those? Hinge joint. Pivotal joint, hip joint and fixed joint and also ball and socket joint. These are the five different types of joints. I will uh, mention all the points in the PDF. You can go through it. You must know which joint. For example, if I ask you uh, elbow may, ankle may, knees may, which joint is found. So you must know 
हाउ मेनी ज्वाइंट आर देर इन द बॉडी एंड विच एवर जैसे शोल्डर में विच इज द ज्वाइंट फाउंड इन द शोल्डर सो यू मस्ट नो दैट इट इज बॉल एंड सॉकेट ज्वाइंट ओके सो दैट टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई विश दैट यू लर्न दो टॉपिक्स एंड ऑल्सो यू मस्ट नो अबाउट कार्टिलेज वेयर इज इट फॉर्म फाउंड इन द टिप ऑफ द नोज इयर्स एक्सेट्रा ओके दैट वॉज द सेकेंड थिंग दैट वी डिस्कस्ड एंड देन एट लास्ट वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिजम्स मूव फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउ डज अ स्नेक मूव विच वॉज आस्ड फॉर योर पी ए टू एग्जाम राइट हाउ डज बर्ड्स मूव हाउ कॉक्रोच मूव और हाउ अर्थ फॉर्म्स मूव दीज वर द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड इन द क्लास रूम टूडे एंड आई विल बी सेंडिंग यू द पी डी एफ ऑफ एवरी थिंग दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सो हैव अ हैप्पी लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस टेक केयर गुड डे